Hello there everyone, it's Cornelius back again with another episode of The Sentient. Uh, I decided to start recording before I loaded up the game just because they added a new overflow onto the startup, basically explaining that it's early access. And that they're apparently, like I said earlier, they're pretty uh, active in trying to keep it updated and whatnot, so I thought that was pretty cool. Decided to throw it on in here. Alright, well, let's continue then. YouTube main. There it is. Alright. I was about to say, I was wondering. Now, I don't believe... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're still on Earth. I was about to say, I don't didn't think we stopped it midway anywhere. Points remaining, six. And how much will it take to upgrade travel speed? Eight. Alright. Well, like I said before, I want to save up for the travel speed upgrades. So we'll head on out over this way. Travel on out. Unpause it. Make sure we got people working on our power supplies. We don't have anyone working on weapons. I'm going to tell him, hurry up towards weapon supplies. Are people unscheduled? I can't remember if I did that or not. Yes, I apparently did. Everyone has two off? Yeah, okay. Except we only had... Are we short a person? I think we needed another person and we apparently... Alright, examine the site. Gather the research supplies and move on. I think we forgot to hire another engineer. Which is a little unfortunate, but I suppose we will probably survive that. Or did this ship... This ship might have been the one that survived. I can't... It's been a... It's pretty much it's been a week since I last played, so I can't remember if our last ship blew up, but I'm pretty sure our last ship survived and we lost a guy on the boarding party. Alright, a heavily armored alien appears on the screen. As soon as the alien appears, it seems something is scanning the contents of our ship. Midway through the scan, the alien emits a loud vibration from its mandibles with a commanding tone. Uh... Attack the ship, offer supplies, or order the crew not to move. Order the crew not to move. Scan completes, and the alien once again makes the vibrating noise before heading off. Okay, sure. That was fine, I suppose. Why not? We'll say that was fine. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if they've updated anything recently. I looked, and it looked like... Check the scene page, and it seemed last time the update was uh, on the 15th. So it's been still a little bit since they last updated the game. And yeah. We have enough power supply, I have enough, yeah, enough powers and all that. So yeah, I'm not sure. I really... I like playing this game, it's fun. I'm just, I'm trying to decide... Not after this one, after this one we'll have enough to boost up the research. We'll have enough to boost up travel speed. But, and I'm hoping that it significantly increases the speed at which you travel. My main concern with that is that it's not going to be that significant of an increase. Upon arrival, there appears to be a comet streaking through space at a great speed. Attempt to get closer. As the ship comes within view of the comet, an odd glow can be seen emanating a peculiar energy. Add the findings to the ship's logs. Alright, we'll keep on moving. Five minutes there, five minutes there. And fast forward. Hmm. See, I'm not sure. I think... I think what I might do for this episode, we'll see how it works out. For this episode, I think I'm going to cut out the parts where we're traveling. Because, like I've always said in just about every episode, at least until we upgrade the research here a little bit, once we upgrade it at least one time, I don't know, I might see if it's faster, and if it is, then we'll just leave it in. But as it is, there's just there's so much dead space where essentially you're just micromanaging your people a little bit. Him, you know, go eat. No, definitely turn on autopilot. Uh, you're micromanaging the people, and it's just more or less it's dead air. Not not necessarily dead air, but it's not really exciting. There's not a whole lot to comment on happening in the game. So I'm thinking that I might end up doing that. We might try that out for this uh for this episode. Try cutting out the space in between. We'll see if that works out better or not for the game. 
What is this person doing? Relaxing. Okay. So yeah, I'll probably cut that out unless uh, if interesting things happen in between in the traveling sections, then I will probably try to keep that in. But otherwise, I think I'm going to cut out the traveling periods at some point here. Alright, and we're about to show up right about now with absolutely nothing at the current location. Beautiful. Well, set destination and head for the next area. Random person just standing there again. I don't know where, how you get to new ships. So I'm gonna boost travel speed. My hope is by boosting travel speed, it will unlock this. Hopefully one of those two will unlock when I boost travel speed. And when I do that, because I'm, that's, that's about all I can think. Either you have to keep bumping up this technology in order to get to the next level of ship, or it unlocks somewhere up here when you can open up more, uh, open up more ships. Or maybe you have to research everything at least once. I'm not sure it's, it's not really explained anywhere in the game to the best of my knowledge. And so and I'm trying to avoid going online to look it up, but I think I actually, I think I tried actually looking it up. I didn't dig too deeply. But I think I just I was looking if there's a wiki for this at all or anything, and I didn't find any wiki to try to figure out how to how to unlock it. So it's still it's more or less it's guesswork for me. Oh, that's broken. Is anyone gonna fix it? He's heading to the cafeteria. And that person is sleeping. You know what? No, go fix it. I feel like you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be on free time anyways, afternoon? No, you're not on free time, you're on fixed ship objects. Why is it saying you're on free time? Wandering? No. It's the afternoon, you're supposed to be fixing ship objects. This is concerning to me. As you get closer, you find a beacon amidst a sea of mines. Attempt to recover the beacon and avoid the mines. Ooh. The ship is unable to avoid the mines in its attempt to recover the beacon. The mines explode, causing damage to the ship and destroying the beacon. 104 damage to our shields? Yes, to our shields. Alright, well the sector is cleared. We'll engage FTL, and we're gonna try to jump... Hmm... Yeah, we'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll jump one out. Now you go here and fix that, you go in here and fix that. I don't know. And then yeah, someone bump up our shields again. After losing a good chunk of them there. Upon arrival, we see another comet. Let's try and get closer to the comet. Another odd glow, and we get one more research. Good stuff. Alright, now there's a good amount more things. We'll go to this one. Good amount of more, uh, good amount more destinations to go to. Hopefully we will survive it. That's just, it's a little wonky there. Oh, okay. It's supposed to happen like that. I was about to say, why is the screen flickering there? At least I hope it's flickering. If it's not flickering for you guys, it is for me. An octopus-like alien race appears on the screen. Although we still have not been able to fully understand their language, we are able to determine their current tone is non-hostile. Uh... My last encounter with the tentacle ships went horrifically wrong. I don't... it doesn't tell us if they're in danger or anything. We don't have enough supplies. We'll attempt to escape. Appears to leave the ship alone as it departs. Whatever wonder will remain a mystery. What I was going on by saying it looked like as an octopus-like thing was our last uh, rendezvous with... Our last encounter with the tentacle ship ended with us being absolutely 100% completely destroyed. Like, almost instantaneously destroyed. So, assuming that, you know, there's some correlation between an octopus, alien, and tentacle ship, I'm going to avoid the... avoid attacking them. Everyone's just waiting. To, everyone's lined up waiting to use the bathroom. Upon entering the location, a damaged vessel begins firing immediately at the ship. Well, that doesn't seem intelligent. Able targeting. Uh, the ship continues to attack despite our weapon systems coming online. Order the crew to attack. We'll start blasting away. I don't know why a damaged ship would decide to attack us. Like, obviously undamaged ship, but apparently they decided it was time. 
I don't know why, but apparently they decided that yeah, we can we can make this fight. Are we down a What are you doing? Dude. It's Get up there and get on the weapon platform. Boost our shields. This should not have happened. Our uh Yeah. Okay, that's fine. No. No, you guys don't get to go back to your... You guys do not get to go back to doing your things. You all are going to sit there and frickin' boost up our energy. Can't believe you guys didn't do anything and let us get that low. Alright, well, we're going to move up here. And by the time we get there... All of our supplies should be back up to full. Whoever it was, who was it? Was it him? I don't remember which one it was. And I just realized all of the guys in this game have long hair. Nope, there it is. There was the guy that wasn't up there when he was supposed to be. Are those guys? Yeah, Steve. There's a lot of guys with long hair. That's Lindsay, that's a woman. That's a guy, Steve. That's a woman, Dion. Diani? Dian? Is that an A? Diani? Dian? Then we have Phil. There's Lindsay again. Steve again. Raul. Ah, there it is, an Emmett. Hmm. Upon arrival, a pirate ship immediately hails the ship. No need for any trouble. Take these supplies and act like you never saw us. Yeah, I'll take the supplies. We were running low on them anyways, so... I'm quite content to, uh, take the supplies. Alright, off to the next mission, next area. About seven minutes away. We will see how we're doing there. You're relaxing, okay. That's fine by me. Is there... Ah, well, that's kind of nice. Nice little uh, not even not even Easter egg, but nice little uh, what would you call it? Just a nice little effect that they added in. You can <laughs> change the music by selecting the jukebox. Huh? I wonder if anything else has anything like that. I mean, view map, but we have already established the view map button doesn't work while we're traveling. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can! Okay. Well, that seems horribly inefficient. I was thinking these were like passive boosts. Uh-oh. There appears to be a cargo ship left to drift in the current location. Investigate the cargo pod. So... There appears to be a cargo pod left to drift in the current location, not a cargo ship. Yeah, investigate the cargo pod. Appear to be several supply. Ugh. There appears to be several supplies left over inside. All right, we'll head 33 seconds to the next area. Ooh, leveled up. Is he our main flight guy? He is our main flight guy, so we will give him piloting. All right, two percent dodge. Now, if we turn off autopilot, does that increase? No. Okay, we'll leave autopilot on then for now. <laughs> and there is nothing there. Well, we traveled 33 seconds and we traveled to nothing. So we gained five research points in our first sector. And in the second sector, we have gained two. That is just not very good, uh return on not even return on investment but that's just that's horrible research point gain for this area it's really really poor okay maybe him moving area to area is just considered wandering the ship maybe I don't know uh oh an octopus-like ship can be seen off in the distance. The ship appears to be offline as there are no lights emanating. Ping the ship with the same noise, attack the ship, or begin moving away. Alright. 
do we risk it? It's the octopus ship. It completely destroyed us last time. We have seven research points. We'll ping it with the same noise. The worst that happens is we lose our seven research. Upon closer inspection, it appears the ship has been completely ransacked. All electrical systems appear to be offline. However, given some time, some supplies may be able to be gathered. All right, well, we investigated it and nothing happened. We will jump back to Earth. And we will uh, go ahead and go ahead and uh, spend our research points. Yep, yeah, everything. Ten events complete. Two sectors clear. Seven research points gained. 110% research bonus modifier. All repairs have now been. Still, it was it was six plus seven, so we're still at the exact same amount. All right, pause that then. Or I guess we can let it play out. Let's boost up travel. Yeah, we'll begin research on travel speed. That did nothing. Alright. Well, we've already spent one in evasive maneuvers. Do we want to spend one in durable objects then? Or one, or... Alright, I guess we'll spend one in durable objects and... Okay, I was about to say and see if it unlocks more things. Medical Bay unlocks the medical bay used in order to heal those that have been injured, malnourished, or dying. Additional research points increases the speed at which the crew is healed while in the medical bay, as well as additional training for new crew members. Okay. Briefing room unlocks the briefing room, which allows for giving out missions to pilots. These missions include exploration in space and aiding the main ship in combat. Additional research will increase efficiency on missions. All right. So apparently that's something that will be updated later, or added in later, or maybe it's just we don't have a large enough ship for it yet. I'm not sure which. It seems to be kind of in the same area as light power armor. So the medical bay costs five to research. Uh, what time are we looking at? All right. So yeah, I think that's where we'll uh, wrap this episode on up, and I'll be back well, for me, it'll be shortly, but for you guys, it'll be about a day. And I'll see you guys next time if you... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.